The wonders of the earth give us an abundance of gifts. As you stroll down your local farmer's market or grocery aisle, you're greeted by a sea of colors, from the deepest greens to the most vibrant reds and yellows. Vegetables, our ticket to health, vitality, and well-being. But just like all things in nature, there are mysteries hidden beneath these colors. The CDC states that over 34 million Americans have diabetes, with one in five of them unaware of their condition. It's a silent battle many are fighting, and what's on our plate plays a pivotal role in this war. According to a study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism, diet modifications are the cornerstone in diabetes management. Many believe sticking to vegetables is a foolproof strategy, but like any strategy, there are exceptions to the rule. Now, don't get us wrong. Vegetables are packed with vitamins, minerals, and fibers that are beneficial. However, some might just not be the right companions for those keeping an eye on their blood sugar levels. Stay with us as we unveil these surprising culprits. But before we dive in, if you find this intriguing, give that like button a click and consider subscribing. Stick around because we have some incredible insights and amazing gifts for you later on. Diabetes isn't just a word, it's a global challenge. As per the World Health Organization, Nearly 422 million people worldwide suffer from diabetes. It's a condition that transforms your life, making every meal a strategic decision. Your plate becomes your playing board, each food a potential ally or adversary. You've heard the terms, glycemic index, carbs, sugar levels thrown around, right? They're more than just buzzwords. They dictate the intricate dance of glucose in your bloodstream. Balance here is the essence too much or too little, and it's a misstep. Now, many believe that turning to the green side, the realm of vegetables, is a sure shot way to maintain this balance. While this is largely true, it's not universal. Just like in any family, there are members with quarks. And in the vegetable family, some have a knack for nudging that sugar just a bit more than you'd like. Let's embark on a journey, charting the green lands to discover those you'd want to approach with a tad bit more caution. This isn't about fear, but about knowledge. As the saying goes, know thy enemy as thyself. Beginning our list at number 10 are carrots. Known universally as the champion for eyesight due to their rich vitamin A content, they've long been praised in folk tales and by our grandparents alike. But here's the twist. According to the American Diabetes Association, while carrots are a healthy choice, their glycemic index tends to be a bit higher compared to some other vegetables. The glycemic index is a measure of how quickly a food raises your blood sugar. Foods high on this scale can cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. If you're going to indulge in carrots, moderation is key. Pairing them with a source of protein can help offset the sugar rush. A medium-sized carrot typically contains around 6 grams of carbs, so adjusting your serving size based on your dietary needs is essential. At number 9, we have green peas. These little green spheres are more than just a dinner staple. They are packed with protein and vitamins like A, K, and C. Yet, their dark side. A study published in the Journal of Medicinal Foods suggests that green peas, while rich in beneficial nutrients, are also relatively high in carbohydrates, especially when compared to other green veggies. A half cup serving of cooked green peas has around 11 grams of carbs. So, if you're diabetic or watching your blood sugar, it's advisable to be conscious of your portion size. A sprinkle of these in your salad or as a side can work, but ensure they aren't your main dish. Coming in at number 8 is the crunchy celery, a go-to for many as a snack, especially in diets given its low calorie content. It's also a gold mine of vitamin K. However, for our diabetic friends, there's a consideration. According to the National Institutes of Health, while celery is low in sugar, it is relatively high in sodium. High sodium can be problematic, especially if you have both diabetes and high blood pressure. One large stalk of celery contains about 50 milligrams of sodium. While celery can be part of a balanced diet, it's essential to balance its intake with other low-sodium foods and keep an eye on your overall daily sodium consumption. Corn, often termed as the golden treasure, occupies the seventh rank. 
This cereal grain isn't just a food staple, but a symbol of sustenance across civilizations. Rich in fiber, vitamin C, and certain B vitamins, corn also serves as a notable source of antioxidants like lutein and zexanthin. But here's the grain of truth. The study from the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry suggests that despite its many benefits, corn's glycemic index is on the higher side. This essentially means that corn can swiftly influence blood sugar levels, a concern for those with diabetes. A cup of cooked corn contains roughly 30 grams of carbohydrates. Diabetics should be cautious, maybe relishing it as an occasional treat rather than a regular side dish, balancing its intake with lower glycemic foods. Securing our sixth position is the often underestimated parsnip. Beyond its Swedish tang, Parsnips are a treasure trove of nutrients. They come packed with potassium, vitamin C, folate, and manganese. Their fiber content is especially noteworthy, aiding in digestive health. A pivot, though, according to the International Journal of Nutrition and Food Sciences, parsnips, when compared to other root vegetables, contain a higher amount of natural sugars. This makes them a significant source of carbohydrates, which can influence blood sugar dynamics. For a half cup serving of cooked parsnip, you're looking at nearly 17 grams of carbs. It's a call for moderation and mindfulness, especially if you're monitoring glucose levels. Ascending to the top five, we're greeted by the quintessential fall favorite, pumpkin. Beyond its cultural charisma, pumpkins are nutritionally dense. They offer vitamins A, E, C, and some B vitamins. Minerals like potassium, copper, manganese, and even a decent punch of fiber. But, a deep dive into a research article from the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition unveils that pumpkin, particularly when processed or in puree form, can contain sugars. These sugars might nudge blood glucose levels more than desired. Even though pumpkin's carbohydrate count of roughly 20 grams per cup of mashed pumpkin isn't exceedingly high, it's vital for those with diabetes to keep an eye on portion sizes, especially during festive feasts. Floating at rank 4 are sweet potatoes, known for their striking orange hue and their distinctly rich flavor. Nutritionally, they're a powerhouse, boasting high levels of vitamin A, vitamin C, manganese, and dietary fiber. Additionally, they're rich in antioxidants like beta-carotene. The narrative changes slightly for those monitoring their blood sugar. A study from Food and Function Journal found that sweet potatoes, especially certain varieties, contain compounds that may influence blood sugar metabolism. While they have a lower glycemic index than regular potatoes, the way they're prepared, especially when baked or fried, can cause blood sugar to rise more rapidly. A medium-sized baked sweet potato can have around 27 grams of carbs. It's healthier than regular potatoes, but the preparation method and portion control remain critical for those managing diabetes. Making a colorful splash at number 3, beets. A feast for the eyes with their rich crimson hue, beets are revered for their multitude of health benefits. They're a treasure trove of essential minerals, vitamins, and important antioxidants including the famed betalanes that give them their distinctive color. However, amidst their array of health perks, there's a catch for those with diabetes. These vibrant veggies come with a sugar content that can't be ignored. A study published in the Nutrition Journal highlighted that the natural sugars in beets could lead to a more rapid rise in blood sugar than one might anticipate. What compounds the issue is that beets have a medium glycemic index meaning they can cause a moderate rise in blood glucose levels. It's this very reason that they're often juiced and sweetened further, turning them into a potential sugar bomb for diabetics. But it's not all gloomy. Consumed in moderation and prepared correctly, beets can still have a place on the plate. Pair them with foods high in fiber or healthy fats to slow down the absorption of their natural sugars. Stick to smaller servings around half cup of cooked beets and consider consuming them roasted or in salads paired with leafy greens, nuts, or a sprinkle of seeds. Remember, balance is the key. At rank number two is butternut squash. This winter squash variety is celebrated for its sweet, nutty flavor. From a nutrient perspective, it's a gold mine of vitamins A, C, B complex, and minerals like magnesium, 
potassium, and calcium. But research from the Nutrition Journal points out a concern. Butternut squash has a moderate glycemic index, and its carbohydrate content is mostly sugars, which could potentially disrupt blood sugar management in diabetic individuals. A cup of cooked butternut squash cubes holds around 22 grams of carbs. So, while it's a nutrient-rich choice, those with diabetes should consider portion control and pair it with lower glycemic foods. Holding the number one spot is none other than the ubiquitous white potato. A staple in many diets worldwide, potatoes offer a decent blend of vitamins and minerals, notably vitamin C, vitamin B6, potassium, and manganese. They're also a prime source of resistant starch, which can benefit gut health when potatoes are cooked and then cooled. However, for our diabetic friends, the tale turns tad bitter. A comprehensive study from the British Medical Journal found a direct association between high consumption of white potatoes and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. It points out that the rapid breakdown of potatoes into glucose in the body could contribute to insulin resistance over time. Digging deeper, the method of preparation significantly matters. Frying, as in the much-loved French fries, can compound the problem. Not only does frying increase the glycemic index of potatoes, but it also adds unhealthy fats and calories. On the contrary, boiling and cooling potatoes for dishes like potato salad might have a lower glycemic impact due to the formation of resistant starch. An average-sized white potato of about 150 grams contains nearly 30 grams of carbohydrates, predominantly as starch. For diabetics, moderation is vital. When consumed, pairing with high-fiber vegetables and healthy fats can help mediate the glycemic response. While the white potato remains a beloved staple, it's essential to understand its effects on blood sugar. Informed choices about type, preparation, and portion can make a world of difference especially for those closely monitoring their health. As we draw the curtain on this enlightening exploration into vegetables and their nuanced relationship with diabetes, one thing stands crystal clear. There's a vast spectrum when it comes to the nutritional profiles of our favorite greens and roots. Each vegetable, with its myriad of colors, textures, and flavors, tells a different tale. Some might be celebrated heroes in most dishes, yet, for those monitoring their blood sugar, they might not always play the lead role. Now, it's crucial to emphasize that this doesn't make these veggies the antagonists of our nutritional narrative. Far from it. Instead, it's a call to embrace knowledge, exercise moderation, and navigate our diets with informed choices. After all, life is full of surprises. So is the rich tapestry of nutrients each vegetable offers. Think of them not as foes, but as characters in a grand story, each bringing their complexities and unique traits. Our role, to decipher which ones align best with our individual health tales, ensuring a narrative filled with well-being and vitality. Remember those two amazing free gifts we hinted at. To unlock these gems, simply click on the link below in the description. You're not just gaining knowledge, you're arming yourself with powerful tools to transform your health journey. But a word of caution, while armed with new knowledge, always sync up with a healthcare professional before charting unfamiliar terrains in your diet. Your health story is unique, and it deserves tailored guidance. If this video was that much needed flashlight in your health journey's dark tunnel, do us a favor. Smash that like button, subscribe for more enlightening insights, and share with your loved ones. After all, the journey to health is sweeter when traveled together, right? You may also dive into the comments below. We're super curious which vegetable revelation left you wide-eyed. And hey, any burning health topics you're itching for us to explore, we're all ears. We truly cherish the time you've spent with us today. Stay wise, relish those wholesome bites, and until our paths cross again, stay healthy.